Hey guys, so I went and saw Imaginary last night and look, I'm just going to be honest, it is exactly what I thought it would be, an incredibly lazy, generic Blumhouse movie. And I don't have anything against Blumhouse movies. In fact, sometimes I'm even in the mood for just a generic popcorn Blumhouse movie. But this is just so incredibly lazy and generic and... The jump scares are so lazy. Everything just feels like, why even bother? Why does this movie even exist? The amount of money that they put into the marketing for this must have been pretty good because I was seeing this movie everywhere. So I thought they must have a bit of faith in this movie, right? But the same thing happened with Night Swim. They were pushing that movie a lot and that was absolutely horrible. So... This is better than Night Swim, I will give it that. It is marginally better, but that isn't really saying a lot. So this movie is about a little girl and her teddy bear Chauncey, who turns out to be an evil imaginary friend. So the concept was really interesting. Imaginary friends who get ignored turning evil. There was a story to tell there. It just failed to deliver in the execution. So the first thing I found with this movie that disappointed me was literally within the first few seconds of the movie, we see one of Chauncey's forms. It takes on different forms and it is so just not scary. It is a CGI mess. This movie has no tension. It has no build up. You see Chauncey straight away and none of his different forms actually scare me at all. In fact, this movie actually seemed to work better as a horror comedy because it was so funny sometimes. People in the cinema were actually laughing and it wasn't actually trying to be funny. It wasn't trying to be a horror comedy. It was trying to actually be as serious, well, as serious as a Blumhouse movie about a haunted teddy bear can be. And one of the things was the little girl. So I really liked the little girl in terms of acting. I think she was a good actress. She did a good job. But at the same time, it was what they made her do. So it wasn't on her, but they made her voice Chauncey. I don't want to give away spoilers, but there were these times that were just so funny. Like, honestly, it just... I don't know what was going through their heads when they wrote this movie. So there's the standard emotional background story that ties in with present events that people have to overcome past issues. And, you know, it just tries so hard with the family drama stuff to make us care about these characters, but I just felt no connection to them. I have no problem with horror movies trying to give us a bit of depth to it, but this movie just failed in that aspect, and I found the little kid was fine, but the older sister incredibly annoying. She was genuinely hard to watch. She's just so in-your-face bratty, and I get that that was what the character was meant to be, but... It just really started to annoy me, even as a moviegoer. Like the main character, the stepmom, well, she's one of the main characters. I really just wanted her to stand up for herself, but I get that that was part of the story, them starting to become a family, getting to know each other. And like I said, I just feel like they were trying too hard to build an emotional connection to these characters. I feel like it would have worked better if they'd just focused it more on sort of a haunted house aspect with Chauncey, make it a little less goofy, but at the same time lean into the campiness. Like, oh, it's like it, it tried to be serious and it failed, but if they had actually tried to make it, if they'd made it more campy and fun... And at the same time, had those darker, serious moments. We have the campy moments blended in. Like Megan, for example. I feel like Megan, Megan, however you say it, did a better job at that. But this movie, it just didn't scare me at all. And there was 11-year-olds in the movie theater with me. 
they might have even been younger than 11 and they weren't scared at all and I think that says a lot about this movie. That's one thing about Blumhouse horror movies, I feel like they're always trying to appeal to the largest demographic possible and I get it from a box office perspective, they want to sell as many tickets as they can but sometimes I think they would benefit from just narrowing their focus like with Megan that really should have been aimed at more adults but they wanted it to be a family event. Horror movies aren't meant to be family events. Well some of them okay like scary stories to tell in the dark for example but movies like this I feel like yeah no. So it only goes for an hour and 45 minutes but it seems to drag. It was boring and slow at certain times. I feel like if they had shaved off 15 minutes, made it a really tight hour and a half movie, it definitely would have been better. And the third act is where it completely went off the rails for me. I can't go into spoiler talk, but I feel like once again, it was a premise, a concept that could have been really interesting if they had executed it in a way where it was genuinely scary, but it just felt so cheesy in a bad way. Yeah, the third act for me just lost the plot completely. I think they should have stripped it down, stopped trying to be so fantastical and just make it a scary haunted house movie about an evil teddy bear that also happens to be a bit campy. But instead they just went completely in this other direction. This just feels like a January horror movie. It should have come out earlier, but I guess... It's still pretty early in the year and it still feels like we're in January horror movie period. Every movie I've seen in the cinemas this year horror wise has felt like that so hopefully things turn around soon. So if they're setting this up it looks like for a sequel which hopefully won't happen because it's the most unnecessary sequel ever. So look the last minute of the movie actually made me laugh. And it was trying to be funny. That joke actually did land. So yeah, I would say give this one a miss or stream it when it comes available to stream at home. I would give this a 4 out of 10. I know it sounds harsh, but yeah, this is just a waste of money if you're going to go see it in the cinema. So if you've seen it, let me know what you think down below and feel free to check out some more videos right now.